So someone sent me this article and it is called Why Breaking Veganism is Socially Dangerous. And uh, <clears throat> it, it's probably the worst article. It's from Mamma Mia. It's a really trashy journal, like a really, really trashy news site. But you know what? You have to cover this shit because this is the people that, this is the stuff that people read. It says, veganism is growing in popularity. It's the biggest social trend of 2016. Perhaps so many people are turning to veganism because of the growing conversation about sustainability. Uh, perhaps more people are turning to veganism to jump on the vegan bandwagon. <laughs> it's quite a sensation. So this person has no idea why people are actually going vegan and staying vegan. One of the main reasons is the animal abuse, the animal killing as well. The animal killing. She doesn't mention that anywhere in this article. She, she only mentions like uh, the environment and possibly health. Not really. And then she says, there's something about veganism that troubles me. It's not just veganism itself that troubles me. I want it to be clear, it's any type of dietary change that relies on restriction. That includes the paleo diet and various other diets that cut out large portion, large food groups. Well, guess what? Veganism is not a diet. It is a lifestyle. So not only do you change your food, you also change what you consume in everyday life. For instance, your, for instance, it could be your toothpaste. It could be the washing detergent liquid. It could be uh, your t-shirt. It could be... Uh, your runners, it could be anything, it could be clothes you wear, it could be anything in your life that includes animal products. Basically, veganism excludes the use of animal products to uh, create everyday items. And of course, she has the usual disclaimer that says, I want to preface this article by saying that I'm totally cool with whatever food choices you make. Uh, if you want to be a vegan, go for your life. It's not my business and I will fight for your right to make that choice. But I would ask for you to respect my decision not to practice veganism, just as I would respect yours to be vegan. Dude, you don't get it, do you? You do not get it. The thing is, we're talking about something, you're doing something that is bad, I'm doing something that is good. Of course you're not going to be able to criticize or uh, say, oh, that's such a bad decision, like, why, why, are you, why are you vegan and all this kind of stuff? Because it's a good decision. For instance, uh, it's analogous to um, slavery back in the day. Of course, people are going to stand up against slavery, and the people who aren't, who don't, who do not have slaves, are going to be the better people here. I'll sum it up for you. It'd be like saying, "Oh, don't, don't like this article is called vegan shaming." What if the article read uh, "slave owner shaming"? Oh, why are, you, why are you always hating on the slave owners? They're just trying to make America great again or something like that. That's bullshit. And she writes about this uh, girl who gave up veganism, uh, Jordan something or other, what was it? Jordan Younger. And she said, uh, uh, My body was trying to speak to me for many months and I did not listen. As a result, I grew extremely deficient in a variety of vitamins and hormones and knocked myself way out of whack. Well, that's nothing to do with a vegan diet. That's to do with the fact that you screwed up. You didn't do your due diligence. You didn't research how to do this before you went into it. And I recommend that you do a simple search on Google and just type in, I've done it right here. It says how, in fact, I didn't even write it properly, but how eat vegan, how to eat vegan. Look it up and go to this website. What is it? Vegankit.com. It's got all the information right there. First result. So you don't even need to go to anything uh, crazy. You don't need to be doing raw diets. You don't need to be doing juice cleanses. You don't need to be eating 100% cashew diets. or like You don't have to do any of that. However, there is no excuse to give up veganism. There is no excuse. And here is why there is no excuse. And I don't know how many times I've read this out, but I'm going to read it out again and again and again and again until people understand that you can eat a vegan diet and be healthy and in fact it is nutritionally adequate at all stages of life. So this is from the 
Uh, this is the position of the American Dietetic Association on vegetarian diets. And it says, it is the position of the American Dietetic Association that appropriately plan vegetarian diets, including total vegetarian or vegan diets, are healthily, uh, healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide uh, health benefits in the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. So there you have it. The American Dietetic Association position on vegetarian and vegan diets, and they said it's nutritionally adequate and it may actually confer additional health, be health benefits. So nothing along the lines of, uh, I wasn't listening to my body, any internal cues, what was this? I spent several months ignoring my body's internal cues and I longed to try new things that uh, looked and sounded good to me, but ethically I couldn't do it. I don't know what the ethically bit means. The ethical thing is being vegan, so I'm not sure, like ethically to your body, look, Approach a dietitian. You could have done that. Approach a dietitian. It would have cost you, uh, you know, 50 bucks, something like that, 60 bucks, and you probably could have got some sort of rebate, and they would have told you exactly how to eat a vegan diet. I mean, it's not. If you if you're ignoring these internal cues, it's not it's not the vegan diet. It is something in your personal diet, the one that you have chosen to eat that isn't working for you. Nothing to do with being vegan. You can be vegan and healthy for everyone, but it's just that you need to sort out the foods that'll work for you. And of course she writes the, the typical one-liner once again, uh, it is not our business to decide what is wrong, uh, what is right or wrong for someone else. Well, I'll tell you what, it is our business. It certainly 100% is our business. Uh, for instance, there were 12 horses recently killed in Australia. Uh, they were starved to, death on, starved to death on a farm. And that was 100% in the wrong, 100% to do with animals. And they are up, up for animal cruelty charges by the RSPCA down here in Australia. So there certainly is right and wrong. Now, whether or not uh, veganism is in the law. That's a certain, that's a different thing. Of course, it's not in the law yet, but in the in the future, I reckon it will be. But at the moment, it certainly isn't right uh, to eat animal products when it's unnecessary in 2016. So I'm not sure like what angle you're coming from there. Like it's not our business. It's not my business that you're eating. You're killing animals. I think that is my business. That's everyone's business and. Uh, in fact, we do do that already. It's just that we don't take to the to the extent of eating cows, pigs, and chickens, do we? When I speak out about veganism not working for me or my lifestyle, my personality is often attacked. I must be a bad person. Well, I'm not a bad person. I know that. My friends and family know that too. Well, that isn't that just a convenient way out of all this? I'm not a bad person. I don't do bad things but I do actually pay people to kill animals. And of course, there is a lot of abuse that goes on as well. Further, she says, what I eat does not determine who I am. It does not define me, and it doesn't define you either. It does actually, it really does. It does define you, and it says a lot about your personality. It's that I'm the only one who matters, and fuck all the animals. That's what, it's, that's what it says to me. And anyone, for instance, I, I can make this same analogy once again to slavery. And I'll leave you with this because this is, this is to me, this is what you sound like. And of course, you can have your opinions on me, but this is what you sound like from my, from my point of view. So, for instance, if you were a slave owner back in the day, you would be saying, uh, uh, the amount of slaves I own doesn't define me. Uh, and it doesn't define you either. When I speak out about not earning a slave, work, not working for my lifestyle, my personality is often attacked. I must be a bad person. Well, I'm not a bad person. I know that. My friends and family know that as well. I can do another one for you. Uh, for instance, if you were killing people. So instead of killing people, we're killing animals. But let's go with the killing people thing. When I speak out about not killing people, not working for my lifestyle, my personality is often attacked. I must be a bad person. Well, I'm not bad. I'm not a bad person. I know that. And my friends and family know that. So that article was absolute trash. Zero out of 10. Would not recommend. And hopefully you guys 
stick to the vegan thing and don't fall for this BS.